Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven-day-a-week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 330 of our trek. Yesterday, we hiked the trail of accountability and why it is so important to take personal responsibility for all decisions and actions that we make. Today, we will reflect back on life a bit and share some advice for our younger generation. Thank you so much for coming along with me each day through this trek of life as we grow in wisdom, insight, and understanding. While some of the daily treks are a multi-part series, you can join us at any time and start along with us from that point on. If you'd like to listen to any of the past episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. You can also subscribe to Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. We found out on Saturday that my mom's sister, my Aunt Mary, passed away on Thursday of this last week. She was the last of the three girls born to my grandma and grandpa Burkhart. This did change some of the plans that we had for the weekend as we went to the visitation on Sunday night and will be attending the funeral on Monday. Since we were already in Marietta where she lived, it did not involve additional travel for us, which we are thankful for. Times like this gives us time to pause and reflect on how short life really is and how important it is to live our positive legacy each day. Since I will be 60 this summer, I am reaching an age where I've gained enough experience and wisdom to be able to better understand certain truths about life. If you learn these truths early, it will help you to live the rich and satisfying life that we were all designed to live at every age. So whether you're 5 or 105, here is advice for a younger generation. Number one is when you're in your 20s through your 50s, you won't feel like you're that age. Adults are just older children. When you get older, you won't feel as old as you imagined that you would. For the most part, you'll still feel exactly the same as you feel right now, just a little wiser and more confident. I certainly find this very true in my life. Don't fear growing up. Look forward to it. It's awesome. Number two, bad things will happen to you and your friends. Part of living and growing up is experiencing the unexpected troubles of life. People do lose their jobs, get in car accidents, and sometimes even die. The smartest and often hardest thing to do in these kinds of situations is to be at peace and filled with compassion. When bad things happen, you may feel like becoming angry, but choose to be wiser and more disciplined. Remember that emotional rage only makes matters worse. Always remember that the tragedies are rarely as bad as they seem, and even if they are, they give us an opportunity to grow stronger. Number three, everyone makes a huge difference. Making one person smile can change the world. Maybe not the whole world, but their world. So start small and start now. Number four, first impressions aren't all they're cracked up to be. Everyone or everything seems normal from a distance or at a glance. The 10th, 20th, or even 50th impression is when you start truly understanding someone else for who they truly are. Number five, big results come when you narrow your focus. Concentrate your efforts on smaller and smaller areas. In other words, niche down. When your efforts are diffused over a wide area, they won't have near as much impact. So focus on smaller areas and your efforts will be felt more fully. It could take time for change to happen, but keep your focus narrow. Number six, love yourself. Become your own priority. Strive to be the you that you want to be. Nourish your body, soul, and mind. Invest in self-improvement every day until you die. Number seven, sometimes you just have to go for it. Put your uncertainty and fears aside for a second and ask yourself this. If I try and don't get it right the first time, what will I have lost and what will I have gained? The answer is, you will have lost nothing but a little bit of your time while gaining an important lesson on how it will help you to get it right the second or third time. People rarely get things right the first time, and the people that are successful are the ones that did not quit. Number eight, in order to get, you have to give. Supporting, guiding, and making contributions to other people is one of life's greatest rewards. Everything you do does come back around. Number nine, not much is worth fighting about. If you can avoid it, don't fight. Step back from arguments with your spouse, family members, and neighbors. If you feel anger surging up in you and you want to yell that vulgar remark that's on the tip of your tongue, just close your mouth and walk away. Let yourself calm down. You don't have to be right or win the argument. It just doesn't matter that much. Number 10. Don't try to impress everyone. Purposely impressing people is an act that brings nothing but a momentary ego boost. Be real with people instead. Connect with fewer people on a level that is deeper and more profound. Number 11. Keep having fun. Fun is way underrated. 
With all of life's responsibilities, fun will sometimes seem like an indulgence. It shouldn't be. It should be a requirement. Make time for fun and everyday pleasures of life. Real fun does not have to be expensive, and many times it is even free. Number 12. Keep it simple. There is a world of wonder hidden in simplicity. Pick the five most important things in your life now and focus on those things. Let the other stuff go. Stop the business and really enjoy what's important to you. Number 13. Little things stick with you, so pay attention to them, like watching your child sleep, preparing a meal with your family, sharing a great laugh with your old friend. This is the stuff that life is really made of. Number 14. Less advice is often the best advice. People don't need a lot of advice. They need to live. They need to see others that have lived well so they can learn from their lives. Your life stories, like the answers that you give on long essay question, are uniquely yours. You just need to be a beacon of hope for others. We all just need time to think, to be, and to breathe, and continue to explore the undirected journeys that will eventually help us to find our direction. Number 15. Manage your life. Your situations and environment are ever-changing, so be careful not to confuse things that are urgent with those things that are really important. Number 16. Manage your money. Don't buy stuff that you don't need, and don't spend more than you make. Don't let your money manage you. Number 17. What you learn in school does matter. While you may not use the specific of every classroom lesson, every lesson does expand your core thought process in your mind. Over time, you will develop the problem-solving skills that are universally applicable. And our final one, number 18. Dreams will remain forever if you don't take action. Don't dream about it anymore. Start doing it. What is it that you will regret for not having accomplished, appreciated, or attempted? Go ahead and do it, appreciate it, and attempt it now. God's faithfulness in our lives is available with each new morning regardless of your age. As Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 through 24 states, The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, The Lord is my inheritance, therefore I will hope in Him. As we ponder this advice for a younger generation, we realize that it's never too late to put this advice into practice no matter what your age. Tomorrow and the next day, we will explore the trails that will teach us that you always have a choice. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Now we'll finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them and invite them to come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.